We have another humanitarian crisis to talk about. This one involves drought. This is in the Horn of Africa. It's affected about 36 million people. We got about 24 million in Ethiopia. We got about 8 million in Somalia and about 4.5 million in Kenya. These people are pastorists, most of them. They make their living grazing cattle, raising their own food. Well, the pastures are dried up because no water. Their cattle are dropping dead like flies, and their gardens are dried up. So now their food and water source is just about gone. They lost over 50,000 people last year just because of lack of water. And most of them were pregnant mothers and babies. It's a shame the world didn't come together and try to save at least 25,000 or 20,000. You figure they would have got them the water, you know, at least cut down the number, try to save them all, right? You know, get the water out there. But no, it didn't happen. We need to put a lot more in our humanitarian crisis, the efforts involved. And also look at the long going crisis, whether it's climate or whether it's war, decade long ones. You know, people are still going to fight and argue. We're going to have crisis. That's just how we are. Like the Ukraine and Russia thing. Hopefully it's over in a few years. Hopefully it don't go on to 10 to 20 years. Because if you bring these things to an end in 10 years, we'll be in a lot better position to handle the next crisis as far as resources, funds, people available. You keep letting these large humanitarian crises go on for decades, that uses up everybody's resources, everybody's funds. Now you have all these large humanitarian crises out there that the world leaders should have been handling, administration in, administration out, and they're not. And not only our presidents and, and our people in Washington, the UN leaders and the rest of the world leaders, this is ridiculous what they're doing with their humanitarian crisis. They're profiteering off war, letting people die and suffer, especially the children and women out there. It's ridiculous what they're doing. We need better leadership, better policies put into place to help bring these decade-long crises to an end via climate or real war. That way we're in better position to take care of the next crisis that comes along. Right now, the resources are spread too thin, and all these crises are getting worse and worse. And the suffering and killing and dying continues. Time for new world leadership involving how to handle decade-long crisis and what to do about them. Till next time.